In this video I'll be showing you how to make your voice sound like a robot. I will be using the vocoder effect in Audacity, so if you don't have Audacity it's a great free audio editor. Go to this site, link in the description, and download the 1.3 beta series for your operating system. Another thing you might want is the lame mp3 encoder so you can save mp3s. Instructions for how to download that here. Once you have Audacity, simply record your voice through the microphone with saying whatever you want to sound like a robot. Testing Audacity vocoder with something simple and unoriginal. You want to make sure this is a stereo track because that's the way a vocoder works. You have your audio that you want to change in the left channel and your carrier track, like a synth, in the right channel. So you go to the track drop down menu, split the stereo track, and we're going to remove this right channel. Go back to the beginning. Now you need the synthesizer part. You want something that's constant and that can last the entire duration of your track. If you have something that can generate a tone, like FL Studio or NCH Tone Generator, you can probably use those. Or you could even record directly through your speakers, which is not what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use this cool synthesizer. You can click here and select which preset you want. I prefer this Jazz Organ 2, but you can mess around, see different results. Go to Audacity and mute this track. Make sure this is at the beginning. And for me, Stereo Mix records my speakers, but depending on what computer and sound card you have, that's probably going to be different. You might have to mess around to figure out how you can actually record what's playing through your speakers. Hit record, go back to the synth, and just pick a note and hold it the duration. That's probably good. Go stop in Audacity. Go back to the beginning and drag this over until you see the beginning of the note. Hold down shift and press home to select anything to the left of your cursor and delete that. Go to the end of your audio track and shift N to delete everything else. Now go back to the beginning. Split this bottom stereo track and now we're gonna delete the left channel. And you can unmute this now click the track drop down menu make it a stereo track and the final thing is to apply the vocoder effect so go to effect and at the bottom you should see vocoder there's almost endless possibilities with what you can do here default is probably fine just click OK when you're done and it applies your vocoder effect testing audacity vocoder with something simple and unoriginal if you want to save this file Go to File, Export, and name it whatever you want. And as I mentioned, if you want to save it as an MP3, you're going to need the lame encoder. And you can save it as uncompressed or compressed formats and just save. If you want, you can edit your metadata. And there you have your completed vocoder track.